All right, hey, this is Hans, and it's time for the top 10 instant noodle bowls of all time, 2020 edition. All right, just to start things out, everything reviewed here is scored before I add any garnish. It just wouldn't be fair to score it based on what I add to it. This list is current as of review 3,545. Let's get started. In at number 10, we have Wei Wang with their Da Wei Wang Artificial Premium Garlic Pork Flavor Noodle from Taiwan. This one was cheap, but it wasn't cheap on flavor when I tried it. The noodles work well in the broth. And the broth has a really nice stewed pork and garlic flavor that just, oh man, it's flavor for days, yo. I mean, it's, it's really good stuff. This is one of the ones that I just want to like try again and again and again. So if you're looking for one, look for this one. In at number nine, we've got Kishi Lu Ren with their Back to Henan Noodle from China. I'm not sure if I got the pronunciation of the company right. Pardon me if I didn't. So this one hails from Henan province, or at least it's Henan style. And it's lamb flavor. It's the, I think I've seen one lamb flavor before, oddly enough, and that's out of over 3,500 reviews and two, two lamb varieties. This one has a really nice milky kind of broth. It has wide noodles that are slightly reminiscent of uh, what do you call them, bang bang noodle, and uh, or belt noodle, and it uh, it has a lot of wolfberry mingling with it. This is a really top notch noodle, and the packaging just seems very subtle and mellow uh, except for the, the thing the, the weird demonic looking cheap on the front but it's really good stuff and if you find it I found this one up in Canada uh, I don't know if it's available in the States but if you can if you find this one definitely give it a try in at number eight we have TTL sesame chicken noodle with rice wine from Taiwan this one, you've got a decent noodle, you've got a nice broth, and it comes with a large retort pouch that has chicken and vegetables, plus you have a small sachet of rice wine. TTL stands for Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor, so that's how you're getting that action going on. It's good, it definitely gives it a bump of classiness, and it tastes really good, so check it out. In at number seven, we've got Samyang Foods with their Samyang Ramen Hot. Samyang Ramen was the first variety of instant noodles to hit South Korea in 1963. This one has a pork, like a ham flavor. And I tell you what, you take this stuff, you add some cheese, you add some ham on top of it. Man, it's grubbing stuff. And this one's nice because it's got that little bit of extra zing of spiciness to it. So if you want to have something that's nice and hot and definitely warms the cockles, hit it up. In at number six, we have Nong Shim with their Tonkatsu Premium Ramen Noodle Soup from the United States. This I did not expect. Nongshim's a South Korean company. This is some of the best tonkatsu in a bowl I've ever had. And you microwave it. It's got a really nice, tasty, good chew on the noodle. The broth is just as milky and creamy and porky as you can get. And what's nice too is it has a spicy sachet. And you can make it, you know, spicy tonkatsu. Or you can skip on the spicy. I tried it both ways. Both ways are wonderful. So if you can get this one, get it. It's absolutely going to blow your mind. If you love nice creamy tonkatsu, you're going to be stoked. In at number five, we've got Little Cook braised beef noodle with tendon and meat. And this comes from Taiwan. This is another one that has a huge retort pouch full of meat. And this one has more beef than any other variety of instant noodle I've ever tried. The noodles are broad, chewy, the meat is succulent, good quality, it's got tendon. It's top-notch stuff, so if you find it, give it a try. In at number four, we've got Nissan Rao Kogashi Spicy Tonkatsu Ramen from Japan. This one has just a absolutely sloppy, beautiful broth. 
it's 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 not gravy obviously but it's nice and it's thick and the flavor is strong and the spiciness doesn't overwhelm it just works and the noodles are very premium if you see this one you absolutely need to pick it up this is japanese perfection in at number three i'm just going to read off my notes because this one is so hard to pronounce and i know i pronounce it wrong every freaking year we have Nissen Gyuretsu no Dekeru Mise no Ramen, Shrimp Tantanmen from Japan. The picture of this one, I've added nothing to. I mean, it comes with so much garnish. It's got this beautiful shrimp flavor to it. It's sludgy. This is, this is one that I would put in the same category of love sludge. It's so good. The saddest part is I don't know if it's still produced. If it isn't, make it again for the good of the world, Nissen. This is such a good noodle. And yeah, if, if you like a nice sturdy noodle, a thick broth, lots of mints, lots of good shrimp prawny kind of flavor to it, oh yeah, this is good. In at number two, we've got Marashan with their Oshima in collaboration with Tanaka Shoten Miso Tonkatsu Ramen. Wow, that's a mouthful from Japan. This one has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of mints. It's got a very tasty Miso Tonkatsu broth. Primo noodle. This one's very restaurant quality and very tasty. So if you can find it, this one's very recent too. So it might not be out of production yet. One thing you'll find with Japanese varieties is they come and go so quick. They really want new stuff to try over there and so they just can't make every single skew that they come out with forever. And in at number one yet again we've got Little Cook with the Thailand Green Curry Instant Noodle from Taiwan. This is perfection. So you've got two bowls. One you cook the noodles in and then you drain it into the other bowl. You take this big sachet of chicken and vegetables and green curry sauce, dump it into the first bowl, stir it up with the drained noodles, and in the second bowl, you take that broth that was drained off and put this little sachet in there, and then you've got your sipping soup. Man, I, was it the first time I went and got into Taiwan, I remember seeing a video of this one on YouTube. And I was just fascinated. I'm like, I gotta find that. And I found it at the, was it the Jason's Market? At the foot of the Taipei 101. I was like, yeah, I'm bringing that home with me. And I did. And I've wanted another bowl of that ever since. It is good stuff. Find it, go on eBay, do whatever you have to. But if you wanna try like the absolute best bowl of instant noodles I've ever had, this is the one. All right, cool. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, if you've got some stuff that you wish were on this list that I haven't tried, let me know. Drop me a line. I'll try to seek it out. If you want to send me some, I'll totally be down to try whatever you want to send me. And yeah, very cool. All right, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye. I'm not a man.